Hey everybody, I'm back again with another OP Pokemon Team video. Before we start, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, share, and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this video. My version of Ashes and Slash Atoshi's OP Unova Team. Once again, I'm back on the subject of what would happen if Pocket Monsters, the complete story Zen show, What's to head to a new region now? New region. Not the same region. But the new region. And that next region is... The Universe region. That's right, Pokemon the series Black and White. We are wondering... What would have happened? If Ash was to take his next step of becoming a Pokemon master with his starter Pokemon, Charizard. I mean, come on. All this time, people kept on wondering what would have happened as he chose Pikachu. I mean, come on now, think about it. You know that name? He stayed up, walking the, watching the Pokemon League championships. Bruno versus Agatha, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, the silhouette is kind of clear. If you look at it right from the beginning. But, that's the truth. Ten year Ash. Wakes up one morning and say he headed out to Professor Oak's lab. Running, dashing, sprinting there. But point the whole thing is that what if again, what if Ash didn't get Pikachu that morning? What if he made it there on time? And he didn't get Pikachu. Hmm? Tell me that. I would, I would like to know. Please, please, give me your point on the subject here. Hmm? Hmm? Anybody? Anybody? Somebody say something. Nothing? Nothing at all. Boy. What a strange day this is. Knowing that. Ash would have gotten Charmander. Yes. I mean, it says so in the manga. Twice. It says so. In the anime. Origins. And in manga. I mean, come on, people. Don't play with me. It says it all right there, people. Ash. Getting the Charmander, the starter that he he was destined to to have. Some of the time I he need, he supposed to get a Squirtle. Yeah, right. Squirtle, really, really. I mean, what if? Mm -hmm. What if that was so Charmander and evolved all the way to Charizard on his journey? By the time now, in the universe region, Charizard would be like, what, 88, 85, 88, maybe? But what will be his whole team, his own OP team, in the universe region? I ain't gonna lie, this is a surprise to me, I'm just as surprised as you. Knowing that Ash chose his, his Charmander that evolved to a, to a Charizard. I bet his first Pokemon will be Stop Loud. You know how it works. Home from November Town. Because he was stopped there to deliver something for Professor Oak. Headed to the next town, but yeah, he ran into a little Lily Pup. Lily Pup. Lily 
lele pap lele pap o ba ba lele pap lele pap But she evolved all the way to a stockpile. Which was learning a little bit of, you know, Giggy Impact. Crunch. Order Sleuth. Then, while it's going to the next city, he heads into the forest where he meets a little sniper. That little Snivy working to the bone trying to catch him. You know I like an anime. And as soon as he caught it, he, he kept on training with it. Time evolved into a Servine. <laughs> then by the time he get to Drifel City, he evolved to Superior, where he would defeat Clay's Pokemon straight clean and straight hard. Where after he went to Clay's gym, he go to a little cave, a little mining cave, right behind my town. And catch a little drill bird. You know what I mean, that little drill bird that, that gets on your nerves, Iris. Hey, hey, my kid. And when that happens, folks, let me, let me tell you something that makes it more funny. As train this, this drill bird to become an exo drill. Drill run. Dig. <laughs> Earth power. Endurance. I mean, that's some good attacks. Tactical attacks for the type of Pokemon. I ain't gonna lie to you, kids. It's like you're going to get crazy. Then head to Moss Racing City. He kind of a little tower. Well, he's a little Litwick. Who just drops down onto his shoulders. And as soon as he does that, he evolved to a little lit turn. Then travel through through the caves once more. You know. A little caves. That both to head to the, the ice gym. Find a little dark dust stone and evolve it to a chandelier. I mean, wow, chandelier. With a wisp. Flamethrower. Then once he come out of little that little you know little maze cave, he found a little rufflet who stole his sandwich. You know how ashes is with food. Come on, man. Next thing you know, he chases after it by throwing a pokeball. And as soon as he does, he challenges so many fighting trainers. Along his route to the eighth and final gym. To evolve to a breviary where we learn fly, brave bird, crush claw, and jelly. But once again, if Ash was to have all these Pokemon, this OP team, and had Keppel training him all the way up to the time he made it to Pokemon Master's Journey. I mean, Master Journeys, the series, I bet he would be at the top eight by now. But you know what? Now see what's going on. Ash's OP team in Pokemon Journeys saying, let's take it slow. Pace ourselves. See how strong can we get. I mean, come on, people. Have you not noticed that? I mean, look at this OP team. Pikachu is ace. Lucario, the Pokemon he was destined to be with. Gengar, the Pokemon he was supposed to be still having. After Call Hunter. Dragonite. The Pokemon who saved him many times in a row. Surfetch. <laughs> Sometimes he made a Farfetch. I'm surprised he caught, caught a, a Galleon Farfetch. Involved the surface and dragonfish. They fossil fossil dragon Pokemon. Man, I mean both Chris Black or Harris. When it comes to Pokemon TCG battles, I take it to the world max.